Hello students. In this lecture, we will see the second numerical on super mesh analysis. So you are aware of that thing that in super mesh analysis, uh, in super mesh, we have one current source shared between two meshes. So the problem statement is find the current in the five ohm resistor. Five ohm resistor is over here, and the current source is present over here, and is shared between two meshes. So there are three meshes. So I will mark three currents. The currents are marked. not by looking at not by looking at the polarity of the sources but by consistent direction so i1 i2 i3 we i assume in a clockwise manner all the three current so can you apply kvl in mesh 1 if you see the path over here yes we can easily apply kvl in mesh 1 so let us apply kvl in mesh 1 there are three unknowns and we require three equations so kvl in mesh 1 So I will assign the sign for the voltages developed across the resistances before applying KVL, and I will go on writing the leaving sign. So 50 minus 10 times I1 minus I2 that will go in bracket minus 5 I1 minus I3, and we have completed the loop. So this is equal to zero. So 50 minus 10 I1 plus 10 I2 minus 5 I1 plus 5 I3. Is equal to zero, and if you write, if you try to write down this in a nice format, this will lead to fifteen I one minus ten I two minus five I three is equal to fifty, and this is my equation number one. Now I want two more equations, so that I will get from super mesh analysis. So here I am writing super mesh analysis. and super mesh is formed because of mesh 2 and 3 because of this 2 ampere source now the first equation you will in super mesh you will obtain by looking at the direction of current source by observing the direction of current source so if you see over here the current source is 2 ampere and it is moving towards left so i am writing 2 over here and it is moving towards left this is just for my reference So I need to write down leftward current. Leftward current in terms of I two and I three. So what is the leftward current? It is not just I two. It is I two and minus I three because I three is going in this manner. Okay, so it is I two minus I three. So this will give me an equation as zero times I one plus one I two minus one I three is equal to two. I'm just writing two on another side and writing the coefficient properly. And this is my equation number two. Now I have to write down one more equation by applying KVL to super mesh. So can you highlight that path? Yes. It is formed because of super mesh is formed because of mesh two and three. So I will go over here. Don't go over here. You have to exclude the current source. In the last lecture, I have seen, I, I have uh, mentioned that thing. And then you will go over here, and then you will complete the path. If you don't show this path, that is okay. But you have uh, this. I am showing just for your reference. If you don't show, no problem. So before applying KVL to super mesh, I will assign the sign for the voltages developed across the resistances. Okay, so I am writing over here KVL to super mesh. So we will assign the sign for the voltages developed across the resistances. So here I two, we are traveling this in clockwise manner. So plus minus, don't go over here. Change the mesh. Go over here. Go over. Here, come back. Plus minus. Come back plus minus in the direction of I two plus minus in the direction of I three plus minus. Okay, so the signs are marked. Now I am starting at this point. So minus two I two, go ahead minus one times I three, go ahead minus five times I three minus I one because we are going up through five ohm. So the net upward current is I three minus I one. Don't go over here. Go over here minus ten times I two. Minus I one, and you have completed this path. So this is equal to zero. So if you solve minus two I two minus one I three minus five I three plus five I one, then you will have minus ten I two. Then I will have ten I one is equal to zero. So if you write down this equation, I will have fifteen times I one minus two I two. And then I will have minus seven I three, and this is equal to zero. This is my equation number three. So there are three equation, three unknowns. One can even select a path like this one for applying KVL to super mesh. 
2 ohm 1 ohm and then directly through 50 volt you can reach over here no problem this will the equation that will get result by uh, applying kvl over here is different from this equation but the effect the solution will be same okay finally if you calculate i1 i2 i3 it will be same okay so whatever path you select if you are applying proper kvl there is no problem so here i will get the value of i am not writing the matrix format over here so i1 will turn out to be i think 20 ampere you can check this thing i2 turns out to be 17.33 ampere okay in using calculator three equation three unknowns you can find out and i3 turns out to be 15.33 ampere but the problem is not over here they are saying calculate current through 5 ohm resistor and now see here 5 ohm is oriented oriented vertically okay so current through 5 ohm see here, no need to mark the sign for these i1 i2 i3 because they are already marked directions are marked in the circuit diagram and they are clockwise so you have to mark the direction for the current through the resistors so current through 5 ohm let's see if you decided to move downward then the current will be i1 minus i3 okay whenever i write down i1 minus i3 you you have to write on down if you write i3 minus i1 then it will be upward don't look at the values you just first of all you you decide what you have to write down so 20 minus 15.33 and of course this is downward and here i will get the answer as 4.66 ampere 4.67 rather 4.67 ampere downward thank you